What's up, Tadi? You said you gave me this to be out in three weeks. Oh, Florence, please. If this TV test comes out and alas, that son is mine. I can't I can't allow my son, my child, my blood. Suffered the way I suffered. Wallow in poverty in the streets with no father. No. I can't allow history to repeat itself like that, please. And that left me, I can't even imagine it. Left me taking care of another woman with three daughters. I can't do that to my child. My own blood. No. Even if that, that child was born out of my mistake, he's still my son. That DNA test proves to be true. That sounds fine. I'll have to marry you again. I'll have to marry her. But this between us is real. What I'll just have to do is, okay, yes, rent the apartment downstairs. You know, you're about to lose out. You don't lose it out anymore. I'll have Josephine. I'll make sure Josephine stays there. I will make sure she signs a contract. That she's not going to interfere with our marriage, not just that, yes. I will too. Go find out the parents. I'll make sure she signs the contract that they are not going to interfere with. Come to this apartment, they will enter my house. I'll be the one to put this one here. And that will be, no, that will be, no, that will be frequent. Once or twice, it won't be. And possibly sleep with her. Ah, uh -huh. oh, I can't sleep with her with all this. Now. Easier said than that. You want to keep a woman for the sake of your child and you think you won't have sexual intercourse with her? Considering your history together. <laughs> wow. Brilliant plan, Paddy. Very brilliant plan. What will happen if you keep seeing her every day and you keep seeing your son every day? Oh, let me tell you what will happen. We might have an argument and then you will possibly go to her apartment to clear your head and then boom! Mm -hmm. History repeats itself again. Tade! I did not sign into a polygamous family. Mm -hmm. I did not sign for a polygamous marriage. Mm -hmm. Please, I beg you, just calm down. Let's take this thing slowly. In fact, the result is not out yet. Mm -hmm. What if it's not? Let's not just make this decision. Let's just take this thing slowly. Please, I beg you. 
So it is not out yet. What if he is not? I've always told you. It's you I love. I don't love Josephine. <laughs> oh, wow. Congrats to me. News flash world. My husband loves me so much and doesn't love his baby mama. <laughs> Hallelujah. Josephine. Florence. Florence, please. Florence. God. God is going on with my marriage. God. 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 Stephen pronounced my wife's name. Calling Josephine again in my marriage. What is going on? What? God. <sighs> Daddy, you are losing it. Um, live as one if you don't want my troubles. Is that taken? Um, and you do me love on you. So, go on. Mavic, you go. I know what they're doing. Hey, what's the word on it? What's the word? Um, I saw the word on it. You really love the dollar. Uh, 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 uh. You love your comment, you love your name. You be able to feel your sin, so me see you. Look, si ma gba gbe gbogbo nkan ti mo ba oso. Hm? Pepe furu. Awu lo. O da sai se sa. Awu lo. to fight your husband at this time. Please don't blame him for the way he is behaving. He's just clouded by his emotions. Right now he is confused. He doesn't know what to do. His past is haunting his present. And listen, you were the one who even said it earlier that he didn't have this fatherly love while growing up. So he sees himself in the sun. What you need to do is to pray for him, that the Lord will open his eyes of understanding, that the Lord will speak to his heart by himself. Auntie Fever, are you telling me I should be still and permit Josephine to keep staying in this house? I'm not saying you should be still and do nothing. What I'm saying is that you should handle this spiritually, handle it prayerfully. Earlier, I told you about the story of Abraham, Sarah, and Aga, but I didn't speak deeply about it. So let, let me just talk about it for a while so that you understand. I see the story of Abraham, Sarah, and Aga replaying itself in your life in this present day. So we know that Sarah was the one who made her husband, you know, sleep with her maid and all of that, and then had a son before our own son came about. And Bible tells us that the son started mocking Sarah's son. Sarah had to tell the husband to chase the maid away. But just like what Mr. Taddy is doing right now, Abraham was distressed. Every good man will be distressed. He didn't want to obey Sarah. Okay, you know what? Let's read, the, let's read that scripture. So that it makes sense to you. Open your Bible to Genesis 21 verse, from verse 9 to 11. 21, 9 to 11. It says, And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. 
Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son. For the son of this bondwoman shall not be here with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah had said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Mrs. Florence, you have read it yourself. The truth is that any good man would have a soft spot for his child and by extension to the mother of that child. So instead of fighting him, instead of trying to Pray for him that the Lord will teach him the right steps to take. That the Lord will open his heart to the right decision to make at this time. The DNA will not prove otherwise. So it's high time you accepted. Let my husband have an encounter with you. An encounter that would favor this marriage. An encounter that would favor my son and I. Oh Lord, open his eyes and ears of understanding. Lord, you said that wherever we lack understanding that we should ask of you, Lord. I am asking of you on behalf of my husband, Lord. Give him understanding. Understanding how to navigate this issue on ground right now. Oh Lord, concerning Josephine, her son, and I, and my son, Lord. Oh Lord, help him make a good decision. Help him make a good decision in this situation right now, Lord. Give him the heart of being decisive. Make him stand on your word, oh Lord. Not what I say, not what others are saying, Lord, but what you say. But let your will be done and I know that your will for this marriage is that for a man and his wife to become one not a man and wife's Lord you said a man and his wife Lord Lord let your will be done in this marriage Lord Lord let your will be done let your will be done Lord. hey hey don't skip don't skip so I have this backstory I want to tell you. But before that, my name is Okoyemi Akitsune, writer, producer, and deep thought films. So what's the backstory? I'm sure you're saying new faces like you saw in the party and the keys, the RNI series, and you're like, oh, where are these people coming from? Well, they are students of the Deep Thought Film Academy. They attended our acting program. And when we did an audition call, they sent in their audition videos, like you can see on the screen. And they got the role about four of them actually got roles in this series with veteran actors and actresses oh so what does this tell you in case you're a christian creative and you want to join the deep thought films why don't you chat the number on your screen you will be attended to because we hold our trainings every month so what are you waiting for hey hey i'm not true please like yeah share and comment because it helps our algorithm it makes the page grow because when youtube sees that there are a lot of likes a lot of comments they believe that that page is worth watching so they recommend to others and yes we need your support yes your financial support because it, it costs a lot to produce movies and oh you don't have 10 million you don't even have 1 million listen as low as 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 will go a long way because I tell people that the batteries that we use to power our audio, a pack costs about 1,000 naira. And sometimes during the production, we might buy up to 10 packs. So that's about 10,000 naira. You can make that a, a thing of commitment that every month I will be buying the batteries. And that way you are a voice in our evangelism journey. So yes, we're waiting for your support. The 1,000, the 1,000 dollars, the 10,000 dollars. What God cannot do does not exist, right? We don't want to limit what God can do. So God bless you. I appreciate you. Love you. So go back to your movie and watch it too. Bye.
Okay, so let's eat. Daddy. Daddy. You want to have peace in your old age? Yes, I want to. Then, what are you doing with two women in your life? Two women? Yes, Flores and Joshua. Oh. Daddy, I only have one woman in my life, and that's Florence. I mistakenly slept with, with Josephine, and now she has a child for me. And I don't want what happened to me to repeat itself. That's why Josephine is with me. So, are you saying that if the child is out of the picture, Josephine will leave this house. Definitely, sir. Well, I'm not about to take the boy out of the picture because he's an innocent boy. But one thing I want you to know about the young boy is I will be with him even if he doesn't live with you. I will be with him because he's your seed. Hmm. So, sir, are you saying I should send Josephine away and my son and you will take care of them? Yes, I made a room for two and not three. I'm the only third party permitted in the picture of marriage. And even as a third party, I do not interfere in marriages. In the Garden of Eden, I left Adam and Eve to be with each other. And I will only come visiting in the evening. No one is permitted to have permanent residence in the life of a couple. Even children, they come and go after a while. No maid, parents are permitted to have a permanent residence in the home. I design marriage to be a fusion between two people. Therefore, Daddy, for peace to reign in your home, you have to let go Josephine and our city. But you must make sure that you say to them, when Abraham had to let go Ika and Ishmael, he gave us some food and water. Hmm. Okay, sir. What you said now, sir, you, you, I should um, settle um, Josephine financially. Yes, and have the lawyer sign a contract to see him a few times and provide child support for him until he's mature to take care of himself. Will my son be fine? Eh? Hope nothing will happen to my son, sir. I gave Abraham my word that I will be with Ishmael and make him a great nation. And I did not fail him. I give you my word. I will be with your son. Tell Josephine that if she drop her wicked ways, I will give her a good man. A man that will be fit to be the father of your son. The result is out. Yeah. And here I have it. This is the DNA test. And it's positive. And that's to say, your son is my son. Finally. I actually wish my brother was here to celebrate with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's not here. Thank God he's not here. Because, to be honest, I can't, Josephine, 
I can't marry you. See, I'd like to say to you and have you be on your way, to be honest with you. The fact that you have a son or a child for me does not really mean that I have to end up getting married to you just when. See, from the bottom of my heart, I will give you everything you need, everything you need to raise this child well. Okay. See, there are people who had children with their boyfriend when they were young. They really didn't end up getting married to them. Huh? See, I know that this is um, history repeating itself. And it's due to my carelessness. I would prayerfully ask God to be with you and my child. And as I've said, I will give you everything, everything you need to take care of this child as well. Daddy. Tade, is this you speaking of Florence? We have not had this conversation before, Josephine. See, this is not my voice. This is God's voice through me. God? Tade, God told you to neglect a child? Josephine, just calm down. Just calm down. See, God cannot tell a man to neglect their child. See, God told me actually that he would be with him. See, see, just relax. God said, God said that if you change your ways, like neglect this your your ways, it would it would provide for you a man that would take care of not just you, you, our child. It would be like a father to our child. Like Josephine. I already met the man. A man that showed me plenty of love after you chased me out of your house the other time. It was the pregnancy that made me cut off from him. And now, Tade, you want to chase me out again? Okay, tell me, who will marry a single mother? Who? Who? See, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I'm truly sorry you went through all of this. See, see, there are, there are men who God put in place for these things. Example, Joseph. When Mary was pregnant, you know, Joseph would feel like, my wife is pregnant. When he is sure that he didn't do anything, but when God sent an angel to Joseph, it was, he won't be angry because God sent an angel to him. What Joseph did was accept. He accepted it. And when Mary gave birth, they were calling Jesus, oh, son of Joseph. You see, so, see, Josephine, I'm saying this not to, not to make you feel bad. I just want you to, to just you just understand that whatever I'm saying is not just my word. It's word. It's God's word. You get? Just change it. Change your ways. Just do do right by just do right by yourself. Do right by God, and God will provide for you. Provide for our son. And I promise you, I will do my part. I know it's my mistake. It's so sad to even think about it. It's my mistake. It's my own. I know. But at this point, I am ready to take care of take care of. You should say to you, give you everything you need to take care of our son. Please. Even if I agree to leave, my brother won't agree. What if I was dead? Won't you take care of our child? Won't you? I forfeited my own future ambition. I was left with no option than to raise you as a young man. And uh, that was what, what affected me. Every lady that's supposed to marry me thought I, I gave back to you. Did you know that you are my sisters? Is this how you are going to pay me back? You disingrate. But I I really, really appreciate all that you have done for me. And I hope to pay you back someday. As a single mother? You that cannot stay in an in an husband's house, you are jumping from one man to the other. You are you, you want to you want you want, you want to pay me back. No, I won't remain a single mother for long. My friend, shut up and let's go. Shut up and let's go. There. I'm not going. I'm not going to today's place. You are not going with I am not going. I am done with today. You are done with who? I, I, let's I go. am done. I said let's go. I'm done. I said let's go. I'm not going. You you are you are joking. Let's go. I'm not going. Let's go. I'm not going. I'm not going. Why do you? I 
Just the way you are 